Hello and welcome to Open Solar. This video will be a comprehensive look into all you need to know about modelling tariffs in Open Solar. First, we will look into how to find the tariff that you are after in our database. Then, we will cover the possibilities in creating and applying different kinds of custom tariffs ranging from simple flat rate to more complex commercial tariffs. Either when you create a first project or by clicking on the project address, you will be able to accurately model the customer's savings by choosing the right tariff from our database or creating one yourself, both for their before and after solar bills. By default, the after solar tariff will be the same as the before solar tariff, unless you choose to change it. You can choose a tariff from the database by clicking here. You can then click over to the long list of tariffs. You can use the filters and use keywords to find that your bill to find the bill that you're after, including the location, the utility, the distributor, as well as the sector. And please contact us at support at opensolar.com if you can't find the tariff that you are after, and we can enter it in for you. If you would then like to check on the details of the tariff that you have chosen, you can do so by choosing the tariff and then scrolling down to the electricity utility section and clicking on the details button. By clicking here, you'll be able to see the usage rate, export rate and other details of the tariff by opening this up and then seeing the price per kilowatt hour here. You can check the controlled loads and also check the export rate. If there's anything about this tariff that you would like to change, then you are able to do so by going back to the project page and clicking on the customize button. Once you've done this, you'll see that you are now able to edit these prices and then save them. You can then come back and clear these changes at any time by clicking on the Edit Custom Tariff button. You can then click on the Clear Custom Tariff button to remove these changes and then press Delete. If you want to create a custom tariff, you have two options for this. One is to create a tariff which will be stored in your database for you to choose and select at any time. And the other option is to create a once-off tariff which will be applied just to this project. Let's first make a once-off tariff. We can start out by clicking here. And we can make a simple anytime flat rate with a connection charge. Firstly, check the distribution rules and make sure it's appropriate for where you are designing. You can then choose the bill frequency as quarterly or monthly. And then from here, we can start out by clicking plus next to items. This will add in a usage rate. You can open this usage rate up by clicking anywhere along this white bar. When we click here, it will then open up. You're able then to choose the type and to also name the rate and set the price. Since we're just doing a simple anytime rate, we can just pop in the name here as anytime and then set a simple price. And that's all you need to do. If we're going to add in any connection fees, we can then minimize this by clicking on the white bar and then go to discounts and surcharges and click on the plus button. This will add in a dollar per day. You can then put in the connection fee per day 
And then finally, we can click plus next to extra fields and then indicate what the tax is. All of the fields that you've entered here should be inclusive of tax. So the usage rate and the connection feed should be inclusive of tax. We can then hit save to save this once off tariff. So we've now made our once off tariff which will be applied just to this project. If you want to go back and customize it at any point, you can click you can do so by clicking here. We're going to remove this tariff for now. Next, let's make a time of use rate that we want to keep for later use. So click on the magnifying glass, and this time click on the Create Tariff button. So this will add it into our database and keep it for later use. Firstly, enter in a name, which will be recognizable later on when you're searching for it. You'll now notice there's a number of extra fields here along um, compared to the once off tariff. Firstly, you want to make sure that the code includes the name so that you can search for it. And then you can optionally enter in the rest of the fields, which will make it easier to filter and find your tariff later on. I'm going to enter in a few here now. You can then set the popularity of the tariff. This will impact how it is auto-applied. And if you set the popularity to be a high number, such as 100, then it will be automatically applied to every single new project which gets created. You may wish to do this if you know how you want to model your bills for the customer. You can then set the, the generation rules and also the frequency similar to how we did in lots of tariff. Click plus next to items to create a usage rate and then open it up by clicking on the white bar. Now we're going to be adding in a time of use. So we can go to rates and then click on plus. This will add in another rate for us. We can then name the rates as peak and off peak and also enter in their prices. You can add in, optionally, more rates than this for shoulder and other sort of rates as well. From here, we want to click on the Enable Schedule button, just beneath Schedule. This will open up the times of the day and the months of the year, and we can schedule these in. So if this is 7am to 11pm, we can click on 7am for January, and then at the end of 10pm, for December and then assign it to this selection. So once again click once in the top left, once again in the bottom right and then assign it to the selection. And you can optionally do this if the usage charges change throughout the year then you can add in more rates and then assign them properly that way throughout the year. Highlight the section and then assign it to the different peaks. So this time of use rate is now complete and we can minimize it by once again clicking on this bar here. Now we can add in the connection fee again. So we can add this in as a dollar per day. We can also add in a feed in rate by adding an item, opening this up by clicking on the white bar and then changing the type to export rate. We can then put in the name and the amount. And if it's a flat rate, then we don't need to worry about the schedule. Once again, ensure that you add in the extra field to indicate the tax included. We can then hit save on this. And once we are done, it can be applied in new, new projects uh, automatically if you set the popularity to be high, or by clicking on the magnifying glass and searching for the code of the tariff. So we can come back to the projects page by clicking on projects, 
and then click on the magnifying glass here and then as we would with the database tariffs we can then simply search for it we can then select it and it will be applied to this project Finally, we will go through the process for setting up a more complex commercial rate which includes time of use, demand charges and also block charges. So hit the magnifying glass and then once again go to create tariff. We can once again put in a name for the tariff. Copy that name across into the code and then fill out any other relevant details. We can then optionally set the popularity if we want it to auto play or not. Firstly, get started, um, we can add an item in. So expand this out by clicking on the white bar. And then to add this time of use rate in, it's very similar to before. We're simply going to add in another rate. and then indicate peak and off-peak prices. Once you've done this, you can then minimize it by clicking on the bar and open up the next usage rate. We can now set the demand charges. To do this, change the type to demand. We now want to pay careful attention to the units that are used here. The demand is in dollars per 30 minute kilowatt per day. Often on the bill, it will appear in a monthly charge. In order to convert from per month to per day, you simply need to divide by 30 days. You may also need to convert from kVA to kilowatt. You can also do this by using the power factor which is on the bill. We can then add in the demand charge as a simple price. We can now add in another item in order to show how the block charges work. Block charges are charges which are based on the amount of usage and the price changing depending on how much energy is used. For example, there could be a 1 cent per kilowatt charge and if we click plus block then we can set the limit. So the usage will be charged at 1 cent per kilowatt hour for usage up to 10 kilowatt hours in a day. Once they surpass this, the dollars per kilowatt hour will then increase to 5 cents per day. And if this is the max charge, then you don't need to set the next limit. You can then add in a number of different blocks here, depending on the bill. We can then close this down and similarly to before we can add in any other charges on a dollar per day, month, quarter or year. We can set a dollar per day here and once again indicate the tax which is inclusive in all of the prices that we entered. From here we can click save. Once again, you can search for the tariff 
in the database by doing this. You're also able to access all of the tariffs from the control zone by going to the control zone and then clicking on utility tariffs. From here, you can create tariffs and also search through our database along with your additions. Thank you for watching.